I want to take this opportunity to speak to our brothers, the Taliban. We call on you to ensure the safe and secure passage of any individual in Afghanistan out of the country. We call on you to immediately stop the violence, the genocide, the femicide, the destruction of infrastructure, including heritage buildings. We call on you to return immediately to the peacekeeping table, to the peace deal that was negotiated, and to ensure women and minorities' voices are part of that discussion in a meaningful way. The future of Afghanistan is uncertain. Some things haven't changed. The Taliban are in charge, and the, the dust is yet to settle. Many are mourning the loss of loved ones, but so much has changed. The population is more educated than ever. With access to these devices, Afghans on the ground are able to connect with billions around the world and millions of Afghans, diaspora, who have already resettled around the globe are rising and amplifying their voices. There's a constitution in place with effective leaders who are using their voice to ensure that the hard-won gains of the past 20 years are not lost. As you've heard all my colleagues say here today, Canada will not turn our back on you. We will continue to be there, particularly to ensure that the voice of Afghan women and girls and minorities are heard and are shaping the future of the country. Here in Canada, we'll continue to welcome our new Afghan neighbors into our communities. As we always have, we recognize that those who are getting off those flights carry a certain kind of survivor's guilt as they have had to watch many waiting for a seat on these planes as they've said goodbye. They'll need our support. They'll need the same humanity and kindness that Canadians show every time one of their neighbors is in trouble. They will help be part of Canada's story. And I know that Canada will continue to be there to help Afghans write the next chapter of their story. Um, in your statement, you referred to the Taliban as our brothers. Can you clarify your remarks? Is this an indication of the government position, positioning softening on the Taliban? Hardly. The Taliban are a terrorist group, and yet they claim to be Muslims. We're calling on them to immediately allow for the safe passage of any individual who is in Afghanistan out of the country. We are calling on them to immediately cease the violence, the femicide, the genocide, the rapes, the lootings, and to return immediately to the peace negotiation table in an inclusive and meaningful way. If they will ever be recognized as a legitimate party, this is the starting point. The reference to brothers is a cultural reference, of course, but let me be very clear. We do not support the Taliban. We are horrified that the hard-won gains of the past 20 years are at stake like this and being eroded like this. We are horrified that our women and men in uniform had to move forward with a difficult operation that was only made more difficult by their actions and deeply disappointed that their threats of ongoing violence have led to the international community, particularly the Americans, saying we're going to leave on the 31st due to these threats of violence. 